back. Everyone vlogging! We are two little dolls here. We are two little dolls in the dollhouse. We arrived at the house and it is the most gorgeous dollhouse. Like it literally looks like a Barbie dream house. Like it's pink everywhere, flowers everywhere, strawberries, marshmallows, raspberries. And we're gonna be here for like four days. Honestly, we're here for a long weekend, Thursday through Sunday. We're gonna go to the Love Shack store in the Hamptons and then go to dinner with, I think, Laneige. Hello? Hello? This is Hi! Me. I got summoned. So we're just getting ready for like all the activities today. This really pretty like mini halter dress with an open back. It looked so cute on. I love you too, the day. Wait, can you play music still? I love the song, Joyce. <laughs> I don't want to leave her. It's <laughs> like kind of crazy how a bag can make you so happy. <laughs> Save your coin, spend it somewhere else. <laughs> we just got ready for lunch. Ebru had a hair fiasco at the last minute. She's literally all ready, makeup done, everything done, and she's like, I need to wash my hair. So, you know, the girls that really understand me will understand. Okay. And she just put her whole head under the fucking faucet and just washed her hair without fucking up her makeup, honestly. That's pretty impressive.
good morning. I think today's our first day where we like don't have any events going on, so I'm excited. I'm starting to lose my summer tan and I'm already becoming upset over it, so I need to keep it up for as long as I can. Yesterday we went out, only for a little bit. Honestly, we were home by like 1.30. It was not a crazy night. I don't love going out. I mean, I've been knowing this, but I don't like drinking alcohol. Like my stomach can't handle it. The music they play is always shit. It's not even like have fun without alcohol, which I can do. I can do that if the music is like decent. It's not. There's no cuties to even like entertain me. So that's like, Real. what the fuck am I doing there? They need to start a club with good music, cuties, and okay tasting drinks. I need them to serve Hugo Spritz at bottle service, not a fucking tequila cranberry. <laughs> you tell them now. And hopefully somebody's listening. <laughs> it's like a disco bikini. It's from Pishido. Beach time. And this is egg, cheese, bacon, hash brown. It's basically a breakfast combo in a bagel. So, update. We decided to not go to the beach. It's already 12.30 and like... It was going to take us some time to get to the beach, and we're missing out on that prime UV time. We decided to just post up in the backyard and tan. I don't consider anything cheating unless it's like they're actually hooking up or they're like texting all day and he's like keeping it from you. Those are the two situations where I'm like, oh, you cheated on me. Everything else is like, I can handle it, I'm going to fight about it, but it's like, fair making out with them having sex with them or any sort of i think like oral, having sexual. emotional cheating is a thing though the song playing being royalty <laughs> he starts talking so he's sitting on the plane okay and he starts like chatting up the person sitting next to him like chatting up as in like just like he's starting the conversation he keeps talking to her why is he like networking or no, like he's just talking that's fine he's just trying yeah. to entertain himself in all of these situations, I am always moving with the expectation that he is clarifying that he has a girlfriend. Like, in that flight situation, if he's like, yeah, like, me and my girlfriend, da 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 Okay, if he's talking about me, then okay, but like... Yeah, but that's what I'm assuming. He's, like, always bringing me up. Is it cheating to kiss someone else on the cheek? Yeah. Really? What? Why are you kissing her on the cheek? Is she your grandma? Your aunt? Your... Oh, cousin. okay, but like what kind of cheek kiss? Like a hello cheek kiss? Okay, or? obviously not like a Turkish or like European. A yeah, a, that's like don't a, be kissing someone. But like a, cheek. a literal kiss cheek? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. What about like a really tight, close hug? <laughs> like a like a waist, like an embrace, like a waist grab type of hug? Absolutely not. I, okay, that's not cheating, but I would be very suspicious, and I would, the second I see that, I would be like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, that's so true. And I would fight. I would Unless, unfight. like, the girl's, like, mom died that day or something. Why are you grabbing her waist? You can, you can give someone an embrace and not hug their waist and make it, like, a weird sexual thing. Yeah, that's true. Like a death type thing? Or like yeah, you were, like, like, close childhood friends, sure. Yeah. But, no. Yeah, it's, like, not preferred. Hooking up with someone when you're on a break. Cheating. But also, I don't believe in breaks. I think it's just, like, a prolonging before you break up. Because, honestly, if you're, like, taking a break, it's because you're, like, maybe going through something personal that you're, like, I need to work through this. You shouldn't feel like you need a distraction. Yeah, or, like, like, fucking someone. If you're yeah. trying to work on yourself. But if you want to break because it's from the relationship and then you're fucking someone else, like, because you always just want to fuck someone else. Yeah. So, like, don't come back to me. Like, don't use that break as, like, an excuse. Yeah, to go I agree. Someone. Ross, That's like, you were wrong. Team Rachel. Still friends with their ex. I don't think that's cheating either. Because but I think it depends on 
their relationship, how it ended. Yeah. Honestly, it's not cheating, but I wouldn't like it. It depends how their their dynamic is. Like, if she's still, like, kind of flirty. But if it's, like, genuine, like, friendship, I wouldn't be mad about it. I don't think so, because I think there's always unresolved things between people. They can be friends, but, like, personally, I wouldn't want them, like, getting ketchup coffee. Okay, no, I'm gonna be there. Oh, if that happened? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't want y'all, like, mushy-gushy at all. I'm getting ready for a fitting and the US Open later tonight. The other day I gave myself a fake blowout using a curling wand and my hair has never looked better like even if I got a professional blowout done. I'm gonna attempt to recreate that hairstyle and like following the exact steps I took. Putting it up. Bye. My groceries came. Honey Dijon chips, some pasta, two onions, arugula, eggs. Oh no, two of them are decapitated. Whipping cream, oat milk, tomatoes, fish food. I'm going to the Boosie fitting right now and then I'm gonna come back and decide what I wanna wear to the US Open. Throw on a very casual fit. open i just need to do my makeup my hair is already done i curled it but it is not looking cute so that one time that it did end up looking cute was a fluke i don't know why but suddenly i'm like really anxious i don't know what's happening and i just like don't feel well i also just ate food and it's like all sitting in my stomach i feel really full i'm also really tired all of a sudden i don't know what the fuck happened but i'm so excited still i'm just now really anxious I know it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna have a few drinks and just chill, watch some tennis. You know, there's really no need for me to be anxious. Not that anxiety ever has a reason for coming up. Maybe I should like do some gratitude right now and that will make me probably feel better. I'm super grateful to be going to the US Open. The other times I've gone have always been like as a plus one, but this is the first time like I got invited, which is something to be very appreciative of. Um, and I'm going with one of my favorite brands like Glossier. I've loved them for a really, really long time. Grateful to be building my relationship with them even more. Tennis, let's be grateful for tennis. Why the fuck not? <laughs> Me really reaching. I like my outfit. That's always something to be grateful about. What else? Glossier boy brow, my new favorite brow gel. I feel like I've talked about this before, but I hate when brow gels cause dandruff and like by the end of the day, they like flake hate that but boy brow doesn't do it Ooh, i'm grateful for honey deuce cocktails that they have they taste really good i i don't know if it's because of the anxiety or because i'm full but i literally feel like i'm out of breath what the hell glossy lip liner and grip cannot forget lip balm camera
feeling that I'm not liking my outfit right now. I'm gonna try to ignore that. <laughs> because quite literally cannot deal with that right now. This top is Sarah's. I believe she thrifted it. Cream skirt from the foundationals. It's like my perfect mini skirt. Sambas. And then my little bag is from Longchamp. The finishing touch. I'm gonna bring one of these minis in my bag. I'm still feeling really anxious for some reason, um, but I have a long car ride. So hopefully by then I can like calm myself. <sighs> I'm like already sweating. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. All this pressure in my vessel, so I pop. Got me thinking about being what I'm not. Got me questioning my dreams. Do I even got a shot? God done left me on scene when I asked him for the plot. Indecision steady creeping in the daily thoughts. All my voices steady. One out of many more. Many more. Pay a deadly cause. Who really praying? All they saying is you gotta be strong. Well, I'm listening for you. Look at how I started from the street Look at how I started from the ghetto This I will never make it be Me, I tell them say, I don't know Look at me, I started from the street Look at me, I started from the ghetto This I will never make it be Me, I tell them say, I don't know Me, but I'm not in the street Because I will treat me a bit Me, don't even bother you Me, don't even bother you Me go to 